It is time to bring in Dr. Judy Workman. It's time for Food for Mood. Judy is the co-author of the Serotonin Power Diet, serotoninpowerdiet.com. And Simon loses his tummy. Good morning, Dr. Workman. Good morning. And I suspect many people will be looking for solace someplace. Yeah, well, probably, uh, probably thing, a supplement. The bad thing, you see, you folks, exactly. in, you, you folks in Boston have gotten used to it. Now, you've had the Red Sox as champions a couple of years now. You had the Bruins, the Bruins as champions, and you, of course the Patriots, they're always champions. So now you've lost one of the three championship teams. The expectation. Teams. Yeah. The expectation was simply, and, and, and that's what happens. So now you lost one, and then the Red Sox, of course, they're having a kind of tough year this year, so it looks like you're going to lose two. But Wait you, a minute. Well, that's very early. Early, early, Marshall. Yeah. But you've always got the Patriots, and as long as Tom Brady is inhaling and exhaling, you're right. You're right. But it, it is you're sad. Safe. And, and you know, we, but I, we live close to um, one of the parks here, and there are statues all around the park, and people keep putting these Bruins shirts on the statues <laughs> <That's right. laughs> in extra large. <laughs> Now they can take but them off. Now they'll have to take them down, <laughs> right. and the statues will look lonely and undressed again. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get on to food. Okay. So, so back I, to the supplements. I, yeah. I, I have a, we have a friend who lives in Holland. He came to, for some work to the United States recently, and we were just talking about how people go into both you know drugstores, but also so-called health food stores, and, you know, roam around the shelves looking for something that's going to make them feel better. And he said that it was very surprising to him because in, the, in Europe, people don't tend to self-medicate themselves the way they do in the United States. You know, if they have a complaint, they go to a doctor, usually, and the doctor may prescribe something that would fall into the supplement category, but they won't figure out themselves what to take based on reading the labels of bottles of who knows what on the shelves. But clearly, the Europeans are in the minority because uh, it, the sales of dietary supplements, which include everything from vitamins, which many people take, or fiber, or uh, sleep aids. Like Do you ever melatonin. watch TV? I am so sorry to interrupt your very uh, erudite uh, uh, recitation here, but do you ever watch TV? What? Do you yes, ever? Of course. Uh, all right. Have you seen some of this bleep that's advertised? I agree with you, absolutely. But these are the things that are just advertised, yeah. Jill. But it's forty billion dollars. No kidding. Globally. Because and that's I mean, why it's billions. that's why they're talking billions with a B. No, but this is this is the I'm making up a word here: the diabolical diabolicalicity of advertising. You, you that, and well, and, but, and it's but, so carefully worded because you can't. I mean, I I believe that with a proper visual, you could stand there and say, "This will kill you," and people will <laughs> throw money at it. But, you know, I, you know, you, you're you're right. Somebody has to really analyze why are we doing this? Because if you go back, you know, thirty or forty years, even you had the same stores, but they seemed to be selling obviously fewer products, and they were for people who really might have had nutritional deficiencies, you know, the old people who might have digestive problems and they can't really get what they need from the food because they have a very limited diet, uh, you know, children who may have a, a very limited diet, uh, you know, there, there are many, or you're getting over, you know, a serious sickness. There are many reasons why people took, take supplements. But now, for every little twinge of pain, for every little change in mood, oh, I didn't sleep well last night, oh, I'm depressed, oh, I'm tired, oh, I'm stressed, Etc. Um, you say, well, there has to be a cure for this. Not eat better, exercise more, get to sleep more early, try to decrease the stress in your life. No, the answers are probably in a bottle. And if you go on the internet, because we're now, that's where I'm sure the majority of these uh, the kinds of pills are, sir, are sold, is filled with advertisements of of every sort, or, or, you know, bottles and pills and pouches of stuff that's going to make you feel better. And how do you know what is safe and what's not safe? Because it's not just that you're throwing money away for something that's useless. Okay, we know that. But that, according to many people who've looked at what's in these bottles, you can be taking an herb or a twig or what have you, and that actually is going to interfere with medications, prescription medications that you are taking. There's no information about whether certain... Uh, whether the supplements are, are, are good, for, I mean, allowable if you are pregnant. Um, 
if you were going to have an operation or some some kind of serious procedure, you know, you may be taking a supplement that's going to interfere with the outcome of that procedure. And most physicians don't even know what's in the supplements that you might be taking. So finally, after, you know, decades of allowing people to self-medicate themselves, the FDA has put out a uh, website that lists something like 76,000 ingredients in 76,000 supplements. Can you imagine sitting there trying to <laughs> put together no, this website? Exactly. But now here's the complication, and this is really the unfortunate thing. When you talk about this, the easiest thing to say to people, and I know too many, lots of people who do, are all supplements, eh, which is equally unhelpful because there right. are certain things, and you definitely know this from veterinary medicine. You also, if you have any facility with homeopathy or uh, Chinese herbal medicine or, 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 you know that there are, um, for lack of a better word, what comes under the heading of, quote, supplements that you could never find in a store because you have to get them from a professional, that they need to be sourced so that you're not actually just eating, you know, powdered baking soda. Uh, because half the pro- <laughs> right. No, but half the problem with the supplements that you find in stores is that they are not comprised of the things that are listed on the outside of the bottle. Absolutely. So that, that you know, that's a whole other area. It's just, I, I'm going to make a leap here because it's a, more of a public health problem. You know, uh, when you have something like measles, uh, a, a, a resurgence of <clears throat> uh, a situation that was eradicated, from a public health standpoint, you have to just put your foot down, in my view. You have to say, sorry, everybody. Yes, fine. And go sit over there because right now what we have to do is contain this and then make sure it doesn't happen again. Right. So that doesn't – so transposing that approach to supplements, most doctors just say, no, they're not good for you. There's, there's of no use. And so basically oh, – I don't think doctors – well, you think so? I think doctors would say that – Certainly for dietary supplements, they might be. I mean, if, for example, if you were a vegan, you would probably need, after several years of not having any animal protein, vitamin B12, because you will be deficient in that extremely important vitamin. Yes, but um, the doctor will be very... Most doctors I have encountered, uh, on the record, uh, will be inordinately hedgy about that, uh, just because. Well, then, then they're not... Well, okay, that, but they, then, okay, then you leave open the question... Where do you go for information? If you go to the internet, you're going to find you're doomed. You know, just just anecdotes or people hack, hawking their own particular preparation because they want you to buy it, and you can't really depend on that information. So what you're saying is, where do you go to get Im- verifiable, you know, accurate information about when you should be taking supplements and what you should be taking? And you're right, doctors don't have the time and don't have the knowledge to say, this is good and that's bad, or you should buy that preparation and not that preparation, because the second one has never been scrutinized to see whether its manufacture is uh, of any kind of quality. Look for a look for a qualified nutritionist, not a doctor. And then after you find the qualified nutritionist, we happen to be very lucky, lucky here in, in our area. We have a store that sells supplements that is... Very trustworthy, very knowledgeable. And he has been here for and a long, 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 long time. time. So if you go right. to a nutritionist and you find out what what's what's right and what's not right and you go to him, I went to him for uh, – um, Or you go to someone of the equivalent. You know, In other words, you have to know who you are going to and where they are I've getting been, their I've, stuff from. I've been buying uh, – what is it? CBD oil, CDB oil, okay, uh, and right. using it because it works. But I was buying it uh, long distance. Uh, he put a sign up. I went and spoke to him about it, had a long conversation, and it's not inexpensive, um, but he gave me... Uh, but he, Marshall learned that you just, everything you buy online isn't all, you know, nothing's created. Well, it, yeah. <laughs> so, well <laughs> anyway, so, exactly so I got this little one-ounce bottle, which is $90, but one ounce lasts over a month, if you use it right. And the difference in that bottle from the other ones is, was absolutely 
spectacular. And so if you're lucky enough to have a nutrition store, I'm not talking like general nutrition no, but, center. But that, that's what the blog posting is yeah. about. But yeah. it's, it's, first, you, you're right. First, you need a nutritionist or someone who can filter the information. And then you need to know what, I hate to say this, but what brands, who you can get it from oh, or what brands are trustworthy. And, and the oh, co- uh, uh, look, my, my, I'll tell you a quick question. My, my, hus- my husband was the person who really discovered that melatonin is useful for sleep. Long story. Won't go into it. And at MIT, they did a lot of research looking at the correct dose. Well, the correct dose is, in, is a tiny dose, like 0.3 milligrams. You can go into a health food store or to a CVS or Walgreens or what have you, Rite Aid, and you will see bottles of 5, 10, 25 milligrams of melatonin. Well, is it going to kill you? No. It may make you so sleepy the next day that you can't, shouldn't be driving a car. And what it will also do is prevent your own body from making melatonin. But you can't get that information off the bottle. And a lot of times you can't even get that information from your physician. And so you almost have to go into you know, somebody like a nutritionist or a knowledgeable physician, like somebody who knows something about sleep, say, what dose should I take? And the same thing is true with all sorts of vitamins. The bright dose is fine. A large dose can actually be toxic. Or, vitamin, or, or pills that simply don't work. But you, you're right, Marshall and Jill. You have to go to somebody has the information don't as i said in the article be be your own physician and practice malpractice on yourself because you don't know what you're doing thank you very much dr judy Wortman. hey <laughs> very good food, thanks a lot bye food for mood of course, you can hear Judy on Robin Hood Radio uh, every uh, Thursday morning and uh, rebroadcast also on the weekends as well and also online at robinhoodradio.com. Click on On Demand. Click on Food for Mood with Dr. Judy Wortman.